In this video, I'm going to share with you some grammar tips to do with counting nouns between 1 and 10. Before we start, a great book that could help you with Irish grammar is this book here, Collins Easy Learning Irish Grammar. Very well written, very informative, and the information is easy to digest. I leave a link in the description and in the first pinned comment, an Amazon link that is, and if you purchase the book from that link, I may get a small commission. So thank you in advance. Anyway, back to this video on counting nouns between 1 and 10. Let's look at the basic way of counting first. A hen is 1. A doe is 2. A tree, a car, a cooig, a she, a shocht, a hocht, a ne, and a de. So that's the basic way of counting 1 to 10. Um, it's going to be very similar when you count nouns, but you're going to notice some differences. Let's look at this word here first of all, baud. That's the Irish word for boat, baud. Now, if, we are, if we're going to be counting boats, here's how it's going to look. Ain vod a wine, ra vod, tri vod, car vod, cuig vod, she vod, shocht mod, ocht mod, ne mod, de mod. So you'll notice there that there are certain um, similarities and differences when you compare counting nouns to the basic form. For example, bod keeps its singular form. So what I mean by that is we don't say um, ga body or we don't say ga boid. It just keeps its singular form um, with the addition of a H, which we'll get to in a minute. So that's the first thing. The second thing is most of the numbers, when we're counting the noun bod there, most of the numbers are the same as the original simple basic form that I listed out at the start. But two notable differences there are two and four. So you'll notice that it's not do bod or do vod, it's ra vod. Um, and four as well, it's not car vod or car bod, it's car vod. So those two are always going to be different when you're counting nouns. The rest of them are more or less the same as their original form, but not, um, not two and four. So for example, a do is two, but two nights is ga iha. Ga iha. A car is four, but four books is cara lower. Cara lower. Another thing you'll notice there is between the numbers one and six, the noun undergoes what you would call lenition. That's the addition of a h um, there. So it's ain vod wine, ga vod, as you can see there. But if it's between seven and ten, the word bod um, becomes eclipsed with the addition of an M there. The reason for that is because bod starts with um, a consonant, B. And because, it's, because the noun starts with a consonant, it undergoes this um, lenition between 1 and 6 and an eclipse between 7 and 10. If it were to start, if the noun that I mean was to start with, um, with a vowel, it would not undergo any lenition between one and six. So for example, ga ul is two apples. Ga ul. Tree ostan. Tree hotels. Tree ostan. That's because the u and the o are vowels. Between seven and ten, as I said, um, an eclipse happens if it's a consonant, if the noun begins with a consonant, and the same if it begins with a vowel. So vowels are eclipsed between 7 and 10. So for example, it would be shocht nul, 7 apples, shocht nul. Ocht gopan, 8 cups, ocht gopan. So in summary, nouns keep their singular form. The numbers when you're counting between 1 and 10 is very similar to the basic counting system with the exception of 2 and 4. Consonants can undergo lenition and eclipse, but only vowels get eclipsed. My question for you, which I'd like you to answer in the comment section, is what words are completely exempt from
from undergoing lenition or eclipse? Let me know in the comments section. I'll be interested to see your answers. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll be back very soon. Slán tamo.